and uh, Bonnie into it, and, and still fairly early on. Yeah, the yeah, the finals. Yeah, yeah. So there was still room for them to interact with yeah, Michael G. and Francesca Bonnie teacher. Yes, that's right. Lighting yeah. designer and costume designer. That's right. So that we were able to really First, uh, all interact around it in a very positive. I, I, I was so proud of that show. I thought it was looked so amazing, mm -hmm. and, um, and and it was because of this really kinetic and, and organic process of doing it. And also, she has a great cat, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it was kind of round. Before, <laughs> like she's in there, she's like she sits in the set. <laughs> And um, I mean, Cam and I have been working together for seven years now. So I mean, I, <laughs> um, I, uh, oftentimes the way we communicate, I mean, it'll always start with, "So what do you think the place about?" <laughs> and and uh, you know, because um, me personally, as a director, I only work in uh, new play development. I only work with new plays. That's just a thing, you know, that's my fetish. So um, most of the time I deal with um, even emerging playwrights. So so opening night to me always feels like, you know, the glorified workshop, you know, thing that, you know, the playwright can finally see, you know, but I never, like that's never the production for me. It's it's kind of just that really big fancy step for the player to go, ah, oh, yeah. But you know what I wrote is possible. So you know I always have a, a dramaturg kind of head, and so I think the way I talk to Cammy is the same way. Like uh, uh, things for us to consider because of the, the the kind of work that I work in, I guess is you know um, dramaturging the piece through the production. So what is there and what isn't there, and how can we um, you know always thinking about the playwright? How can we show the playwright? You know the possibilities of where the script can even go. Just a simple, you know, so I'll have to, we'll have to figure that out through direction. Like, it, it won't be written in the script. And I feel like I'm cheating all the time, going, yeah, but put it in there. And the playwright was kind of love it, <laughs> or hate it, or whatever. But, you know, or or um, the designers will come up with things to solve, I hate that word, solve some of the problems that are inherent in the script, because I mean, they are emerging playwrights. Even established playwrights have stupid things that <laughs> but you know, um, uh, so we're there with an understanding that we're also kind of wearing. Um, we're, we're there to to not only kind of lift the the page onto the stage, but even complete it a little, just a little bit more, right? Um, so oftentimes, you know, uh, yeah, what's the play about, and if. Even the playwright doesn't know quite well. Well, we're gonna invent it. Like you know, we're gonna just impose our interpretation on it and just go with it. Um, and then we'll we'll start talking in code sometimes. Like randomly, we're gonna be eating dinner. I'll see something on my plate and go green apple or something, and she's like, what? <laughs> you know, I'm like that's that that's what I that's the taste that I kind of. You know, I'll talk in that airy fairy kind of language, but she'll know, like, and she'll just put it at the back of her head or write it down in her notebook, and 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 then, you know, it'll I, whether it shows up or not. I just I'm just trying to give her my impressions of the senses in the play, and I mean, do think about senses a lot when I'm reading a script. Like, what does what does the world and the characters feel like, taste like, smell like, and so I'll throw all of that to Cabby, and then. I don't know, she just comes back with something. I'm like, all right, let's, you know, let's play with this and tweak and, and all of that. But I do um, tend to, um, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's kind of, kind of the code that we've established. Even with the other designers, though, they're kind of getting the hang of it um, in terms of what I hear or, you know. What and it's something I've tried to integrate with other directors, especially directors that I haven't worked with before or really, like, Larger plays. So for um, *Hunted to Venus*, I asked you to make lists um, of just anything, and I don't need an explanation of why she put green apples. You put the list. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't at all. But do you need? And I, and I asked, and I obviously don't want an explanation. So I got these lists, and they're fantastic. And I'm like, it's a lot. <laughs> but 
But it's funny. It's funny because in the end, they all kind of do make their way into the play. And I, and I find I think it's useful. It's kind of it's kind of just useful, especially on a harder place or a new place too. Um, especially if I'm finding a hard way into the play, uh, because I can't. I can't. I always start my process from these words or from these list of words. I don't kind of <coughs> design it and then show the not show the director. Oh, this is what I thought it should be. I I start. From how they see it, whether it's these, this random list of words, whether it makes sense at the moment or not, because usually it's first instincts, and those first instincts are like the best instincts, and um, and and then I and I go from there, and they, they are my group. and and so sometimes they're taken right from the script, which means they're direct inspiration from the script. And sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're just impressions or feelings and stuff like that. Yeah, like, those, like the final product, like the last production we did, Lady in the Red Dress, that was at the Yacht Center for the Performing Arts. Um, you know, it, it's set in Chinatown, in Spadine, and, you know, the old and new Chinatowns. And I remember we were driving um, one night, you know, driving past the Chinatowns, and I just suddenly go, Alice in Wonderland. Like, that's it. Like, that's the world, you know, but Chinatown. Like, Alice in Wonderland, you know, and, and little did I know, like, that was really, that was, you know, in our designer's workshop, I, I just clung on to that image of you know, going through the rabbit hole. And, you know, what does that mean if the rabbit hole was located in Chinatown? And everything else like, fell into place. And how, because I always work with a choreographer as well, how the choreography was based, how the music and everything was kind of based on that central image. There's a lot of, a lot of happens, a lot of happens to a lot of the words on this list I have no idea what they're referring to or why they put on it. But it comes into play the more research I do, the more times I read it. Because because it forces me to see the play kind of through kind of through their eyes or see through their approach a little bit. Or, or they, try to understand. I guess it's also that we're all attempting to actually come to the world the playwright has provided. Yeah. I mean I think yeah. it, it ultimately goes back to the play like it ends up we all end up back with the playwright and, yeah. and back with what is it? that makes this necessary to say, and necessary to say right now, and how can we make that clear <laughs> to be heard by everybody, essentially, you know, as opposed to it being, which I guess is coming back to the notion of sonography, it's, it's for, and I, and, and I don't, I mean, I'm probably gonna end up in sort of dangerous territory with this, but I'm gonna take the chance. I feel like, uh, because I'm not interested in marking something as mine, as a director, when I'm, I, as I'm more, I, so I, I will have, sh I think through the, the shows that I've made since I started directing, they all look really different. Like there's no, there's no, um, there's not a complete, sh there, 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 style. no, there's, I, unfortunately, maybe it's just because I'm new at it, but, um, but I think that uh, it's partially to do with the fact of my, my own interest and commitment and, and sort of passion for the playwrights intentions and the playwrights uh, need to speak so so unleashing that to me seems like what we're always invariably coming back to and that becomes the synapse and that's synapse. really important for new play development yeah it is all that it's it's, it's so important yeah. and it's important for old play development yeah. too yeah. especially because yeah. really you know you, you deal with old things that don't that even in, you know like <clears throat> why do this play why what's what is there what is the playwright saying that's Screaming through time to us now. So yeah, and in new play development too. Do you find I find it's often helpful to have a designer because we tend to work in terms of patterns. We see through lines and patterns yeah. of things, that, and so that you kind of know a scene isn't working if it doesn't kind of fit into the space that's kind of being created for the world. Maybe not the space, but the world that's being created. Yeah. Um, uh, for sure, uh, it, it's. And oftentimes, very, very young, fresh playwrights, you know, tend to be designers. Like, if you notice in their stage directions, there's a sofa. On They're also the directors. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 like, so, you know, oftentimes, you know, I have to have to tell my playwrights, you know, like, write in, in the world that you imagine in your head, whether it's, you know, a helicopter drops from the sky to, you know, nobody. Because <laughs> yes, often they get stuck in reality. Do yeah, you know? no, for sure. Like they have to I mean, they think they, they carry that burden of being their own designers and producers because they worry about the budget. And the yeah. budget. <laughs> Who's going to do this? I'm going to put it somewhere they can yeah. get it work. But I also think we're in an interesting era in, in the 
world of theater, with the way it interfaces with film and television, because we are an episodic structure of 